Hi, this is David. Today we're unboxing a Yasu FTM 400 XDR unit. This is 144 and the 430 MHz dual band transceiver and it's also a digital uh, transceiver also. It's, uh, it's on the C4FM digital, that's on Yasu's their own digital channel. But before we unbox this particular item that's explain why I need this one and how do I need to do before I even can start using this particular unit because this particular unit it's uh, on a VHF and uh, UHF uh, frequency so there's a lot of restrictions first of all I need to get the amateur hand radio license uh, there's three different level Technician, general, and amateur extra. Uh, I went study for it and got myself uh, the technician license, which is uh, I finished my test October 3rd. It's a walking at Ontario. And uh, I didn't get my call sign at first. After re registering to FCC ULS, uh, I got my call sign after a week and uh, I read through the technician and uh, the test is fairly uh, easy. It's out of 400 questions and the 35 of them is on the test and you can allow miss nine questions. And uh, 400 questions is pretty easy. So I studied for for about uh, a week. Then I took a test and I passed. I, uh, on the test, they always allow you to take next one. So uh, on the, uh, right after I passed the technician exam, they allow me to test drive the general. Some people who is uh, good enough also pass general exam, but I didn't pass. So I study a little bit more, take about a week. Uh, bought a, this particular book, it's called the General Class License Manual for Hand Radio. So I study up on that and got my general done. So between the times about 10 days difference. And I got the, I got the, my license for 10 day study. For uh, during the general exam, I passed it. And after that, they allow me to attempt for the amateur extra, which I did try, but I, I know I didn't pass because if, out of 700 questions, 50 questions on the exam, and you're allowed to miss 13 of them, which is I only got 19 correct. So I, that is a lot, a lot of questions I missed. So I got this book. I will work on this one here. And I got to get this one done too with the, the extra question and answer. There's 700 instead of 400. So I have a lot more studying to do. And this one go through a lot more detail compared to some other ones too. So I got a lot more information to work on. So after I get, I got my call sign on FCC LICE uh, database and legal to do uh, open box and use a ham radio. Here's my uh, radio, it looks pretty good. Let's take a look, open up. It's a uh, pretty heavy, pretty heavy item. So uh, you got the warranty card, it's standard. You got the nice little book and little stickers uh, for this book it looks pretty good pretty nice but for some time I do want to take a little bit notes and run the instruction booklet so I went online and print out myself and on the thing they did is look pretty good because uh, remember I got the HP Laser Jet uh, Multifunction 775 printer. It print pretty good as a color. And I got myself a print extra for APRS because this particular unit have a GPS unit allow the APRS uh, communication and uh, works pretty good. So I use it to 
I gotta use it to see, uh, to do some uh, GPS locating here. So that's why I print out this menu with additional. So let's come back here and we got this particular thing here. This is uh, the head unit, it's color. You got the volume knob and tuning knob, which is dial. And you got a lot of different function, which you can go to Yasu website or YouTube website to look all, all this detail. Uh, I'm not gonna explain. But on the back, you got nice uh, connectors and this look like a special connector, but it actually works pretty good. Uh, you, it's a telephone connector, so there are possibility uh, if I can find plugs, I can make my own length, but usually they come with a sufficient amount of length. And here's a GPS unit right over here. It's a controller, but it's a head unit actually. Then you got cable. This is a power cable here. And you got the little USB cable that's uh, for general use. Uh, they have a software you can use this one with it. Actually, it, you know, you can connect the thing, update your software if you want to. But most likely I gotta get, get the third party software because there are some repeaters uh, information. I want to load it to the unit with the, the um, unit. I can uh, put some data on the SD card, so that will be much better. And uh, now we finish this side, let's take a look at this side here. Here's cable for head unit. General microphone, microphone have some digits, so you can type in a number. And the connection is pretty good, but this one connect to the, the actual control unit. Here is uh, the plugs. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of plugs, I need to do some research. Mounting bracket for your uh, head unit. Uh, additional brackets, I'm not sure, it's a little tiny thing here. Most likely it's something you connect over here. Not quite, but you got two fuses, some screws, mounting bracket. There's a mounting bracket. Don't need it's a little unit here, the mounting bracket, because this, the main unit, controller unit, do heat up lots or require mounting bracket to mount it on the thing. And, and uh, this, even though separate, uh, they need to mount over here, so you have sufficient room to dissipate heat. Here's your screws. And here's a microphone, the, Look, microphone, the, uh, where you put microphone on your dash and stuff like that. And now the biggest important thing here, uh, here's head unit, or actually, sorry, controller unit. Uh, the model is FTM 400XDR. There's a, the 400X, uh, XDR is a newer version. I have faster GPS, uh, locating system than the uh, st uh, last model, 400DR. Everything is same except for this one, it's uh, locating the GPS section a little bit faster. You got a little fan here. You got a little controller unit here. You got mic, control, data, SD card. SD card, I'm not sure what's the maximum you can uh put i want as much as possible but look like they're possible only allow 32 mega uh, gigabytes so i'm not sure but i will take a look um the data one is very interesting uh you can plug in your data here and here's your antenna a fan like i said uh, heat up a lot especially if you use as a desktop, you put in your house and use as a, a, a micro X uh, connection, it heat up a lot. Here's your power and here's your data connection. That's with, that's uh, with uh, connecting your data cable here, which I don't have here. Uh, that's an extra one, but 
<coughs> external speakers and looks everything is uh, pretty good but for this particular unit i want to use a home or practice uh there's i bought a couple things to help out <coughs> First of all, I got the power supply. The thing about this particular unit, it's the 15 amp and uh, it works for general use. I don't need a high-end unit. I just need the one I can use it to practice at home until I'm familiar with my unit to put on the system. Um, this is the power supply I got used instead of my car. And uh, I do have an antenna. I'm gonna just use it, the uh, light use antenna. Also to use, to learn. And here is Nifty Mini Manual. Uh, why I got this one here is because sometimes when you're on the road, you forgot some control function and you don't want to bring the big manual with you. This is the one I carry with me for uh, quick notes. I do print it, uh, another uh, frequency chart to use it just in case I forgot which one I can use uh, I prefer to be able to since I knew I prefer to be able to uh, let me know which one I need so I did print a po uh, portable frequency chart so um, that's it I passed my technician I passed my general uh, because usually on November, December, they don't have too many tests or uh, uh, classes. I gonna try my amateur extra around January and uh, hope I pass that time. But for right now, this is a uh, David Chen uh, open box of Yasu uh, FTM 400 XDR. Thank you. Here's a second part of open box is a Yasu FT2DR. Uh, the difference between the one I uh, open box uh, FTM 400XD versus uh, this unit is this is handheld. That one's mobile, and uh, they both are working on 144, 430 megahertz dual band, and both are digital. The difference on this one here is is handheld and uh, then let's take a look over here you got the, the, the warranty instruction menu also I printed out for my personal usage you got the quick guy you still need a quick guy because this is a extensive unit and here's the unit you got the unit itself the battery, you do recommend to get additional battery just in case because uh, the power it uses is pretty fast. Uh, you got the USB cable for your data processing and the, the software update, the charger, the clip to clip on your belt, and the rubber dock antenna. It's preferable to upgrade the antenna and uh, preferable to get additional uh, battery and desktop charger. This particular unit, the charger unit, it's actually take a, a little bit of time to charge, but there's a quicker charger one, quicker charge uh, desktop uh, accessory. Let's take a look on what they have for accessory wise. You can get additional battery, you can get a desktop charger, and uh, you can have uh, another one this for charging just in case you don't you uh, you want to update the uh, the additional one for your separate location you got the headset even though yasu have a headset but i got another headset separately for hio hio sound uh, the difference is the price uh, yasu is a little bit pricier than the general Hire the uh, headset or the walkie talkie head loop and uh, the microphone. Also, you do can have uh, the camera uh, microphone because this is digital. You're allowed to have uh, extra connection. So when you talk, you take a picture, send it to my uh, mobile unit. That's a one off benefit to get Yasu. Um, unit also last part is uh, you can have a 
the, just a regular line uh, version of uh, your headset but I up to this one here so I can use it a little bit longer time just sit there listening to what other people are talking about without saying anything but this is a open box of this particular Yasu hand mobile it uh, is a very good unit at everything besides the minor uh, power and minor function everything else is same as the mobile one I'm gonna install my mobile into my car and when I do my car review I'm gonna do it same time so please wait for it I do have an older vehicle I'm gonna install the mobile uh, unit too and I will do the review both of both review same time and usage review same time Thank you.